What are the red flags when a foreigner is chatting with a Filipina online? What are the red flags when a foreigner meets his Filipina in person and it starts dating her? When it comes to just chatting, mm -hmm. I feel like one of the red flags is when they ask for money. Right. I feel like you would, you should always be honest right. about how you feel. Mm -hmm. And if they lie about yeah. something like that, um, then they're not a good person to be with. What are the red flags for chatting online and dating in person? Is there any else a man could do that would cause you to end the relationship immediately? Do you think it's possible for a 68-year-old as a foreigner to be in a healthy relationship with a 28-year-old? What do you think about this? It's me, Sissy Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, we have special guests. But before anything else, I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters, because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more updates. So, who's this beautiful lovely lady beside me guys can you please introduce yourself to my viewers okay, um, my name is kate and um, i am 18 years old and currently studying here in Silliman university so you are um in college or not now i'm in senior high school ah senior high school okay yes. so are you from here in Dumaguete? you're living here in Dumaguete? yes oh okay so um by the way how tall are you you're so Oh my god, I, I look like short now, guys. <laughs> She's so tall. Yeah, I am 5'10". Wow, amazing. <laughs> now, guys, I'm small. <laughs> I wish I have this kind of, you know, height. But anyways, you look so pretty. You're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Thank you. Yes, um, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just your opinion, your thoughts about dating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, so let's start, guys. What are your thoughts about Filipinas using contraceptives? And is it something you would do? Um, I feel like women who use contraceptives are just being careful of their um, overall health mm -hmm. and to avoid getting pregnant. Right. And I feel like it's something that um, women should also use. To avoid um, to avoid um, extra responsibility right. in the future, and it's a good option. Mm -hmm. And we also have you know condoms and stuff like that, right. which is also good to avoid. You know, yeah, you um, can get in the pharmacy right away. Yeah, so I would personally use it, mm -hmm. but I still haven't experienced right. any of that yet. So um, I really don't know much or know what to say anything else about that yeah so okay that's a good answer i like that so here's my second one what are the red flags when a foreigner is chatting with a filipina online what are the red flags when a foreigner meets his filipina in person and it starts dating her okay so when it comes to just chatting mm -hmm. i feel like one of the red flags is when they ask for money right because that's when you know it's a scam and mm -hmm. I've seen this happen a lot of times because, mm -hmm. you know, my grandma also do, does that. Oh, yeah. So I would always, like, advise her to stay away from those if ever they will ask for money so that they would go there yeah. to go here the Philippines mm -hmm. and to meet them. And the red flags for meeting the foreigner is when, um, you know, they are being pushy. Mm. And, you know, they don't know boundaries and right. they wouldn't be respectful of, like, your, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. what you prefer doing mm. and stuff like that. So, yeah, nowadays there's many scammers, right? Yeah. This also um, comes with natural dating. Um, I feel like you, would, you should always be honest right. about how you feel. Mm -hmm. And if they lie about yeah. something like that, um, then... They're not a good person to be with. Okay, that's a good answer. 
This is the same as previous question only this time. What are the grand flags for chatting online and dating in person? Okay, so chatting online, um, I feel like it's good because, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have someone. Yeah. And the green flags are when they are open to you and they are treating you well. Mm -hmm. um, they converse with you, tell you what's going on about mm -hmm. their lives, what they did. Um, I feel like that's a healthy relationship in a way and communication is really mm. key when it comes to chatting um, people online. Yeah. And the green flags in person. Mm -hmm. So the green flags in person, um, roman romantic, yeah. like being romantic in a way. Mm -hmm. And of course, being respectful mm -hmm. of some, um, your partner's boundaries, even even the girl, who's a female being a girl, they should also respect boundaries. and. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, if you respect the Filipina, they will respect you as well. Yes. Okay. Besides cheating, is there any else a man could do that would cause you to end the relationship immediately? Again, um, being dishonest mm -hmm. is really my red flag because you don't know what's real and what's not real and mm -hmm. I feel like that also violates your rights and stuff like that right because um, you know you have to the right to know everything about what your partner does mm -hmm. and um, also another red flag is um, they don't give time for you <laughs> yeah right <laughs> always give time to your partner yeah because if you are re really into that guy or you know um, or that that guy or girl mm -hmm. they will respond you right away right yes so mm. and <laughs> if ever you don't have the time like actually don't have the time you yeah. can just be open about it like yeah. I'm so sorry like I have something to do but we can talk yeah later. like be open about it we, we can we will understand yes. yeah at least we are aware mm -hmm. all right okay so what is your most valuable physical asset physical asset mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Being tall. Yeah, uh, wow. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's my first impression. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm asking, how tall are you? I always look like dwarf now. <laughs> um, okay. Being tall um, with a beautiful. Mm, beautiful yes, structure. yeah, I agree. She's very beautiful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, not really like uh, what do you call this not really skinny mm -hmm. but also not that masculine yeah like, this is my preference uh, mm -hmm. just like the good good balance of thin and masculine is mm -hmm. too. okay what physical asset are you most attracted to on a man this um, is just your thoughts because yes. since that I don't know if you have a boy, if you have boyfriend or not. <laughs> I don't. Okay, you're I'm just very like, much alone. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are focused on your study. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your thoughts about this? Um, my preference. Yeah. If you really like, what makes you attracted to a man? Okay. Um, when they're very kind, uh -huh. very wise, right? Um, they're very open-minded. Mm -hmm. um, that's just the. Um, uh, <laughs> the characteristic traits that I would uh, prefer. Yeah. And for the um, physical traits, I feel like I already said it. Mm. Okay. Uh, All right. Do you think it's possible for a 68 year old as a foreigner to be in a healthy relationship with a 28 year old? What do you think about this? Okay. So Are, a lot of gray areas in those and that question, but. Um, Honestly, you can do whatever you want with your life. I mean, if that's what you want, then yeah. go for it. Right. But um, yeah, I, I really don't want to comment because um, mm. that's not my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you, so you you don't really care about them. Like, it's their life. You yeah. know, let I, them I let them happy. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If they're happy, then yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> this is a scenario. You are out on a first date with a foreigner. One both had a great time. He asked you would like to come back to his place and watch a movie. 
would you kindly reject his offer and suggest maybe next time or would you go watch the movie um if i just met this guy then i would i would reject it okay because i still don't know that really well yet yeah and, um, it would take time mm -hmm. for that to happen but if i knew this guy then i would <laughs> <laughs> yeah because in the first but yeah if he if he asks you nicely would you say yes right mm, no, no maybe not no. okay <laughs> Okay, because you just, it takes time for you to take to yes. to know that guy. Yes. Yeah, it's risky, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strangers. Yeah, you don't know what would happen. To right. Because so that's really like the interest. Yeah, we need to think. We need to you know think advance that. Oh, maybe he's gonna do this. He's gonna do that. You know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you, thank you so much for answering my questions. I'm so happy that we meet. By the way, my my name is uh, Stephanie. I forget to tell her guys. I'm so excited to uh, interview her because I was really, uh, you know, like, oh my god, this girl is the perfect of this uh, question because she's really pretty, you know, tall. Oh my god. Yes. So yeah, um, guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment as well. And take note if you are looking for a Juno and Filipina, go to my bio, click Christian Filipina. That dating service will help you to find your genuine or true love in the near future. What are you waiting for? Explore Christian Filipina and sign up guys. So thank you guys and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>